A pretty typical winter day, but we're looking toward a cold weekend and the chance of a storm, huh, Kate? Okay, what's the dealio? All right, well, let's talk about it because things are going to get a little more winter like around here than they have been, Yuki. It's been a pretty tranquil January so far. Temperatures above average for the vast majority of the month and not much going on, but it looks like that pattern may be changing by the weekend. Here's a live look outside. A gorgeous sunset as we look toward the western sky from our camera at the Parkway Central Library. The Free Library of Philadelphia branch there on Logan Circle. And again, you can see the sun is down, but we still have a lot of light in the sky here at 516, which we didn't have about a month ago. So that's good. 43 degrees outside right now, which is slightly above average. It feels a little cooler thanks to the wind chill. Feels like 38. Storm scan three, not showing much of anything. We had some clouds roll through. Those clouds are now off to the south, but creating some pretty nice reflectivity in the sky for the sunset colors here this evening. And really not much going on off to the north and west either. There is a weak front that's going to move through. I shouldn't call it a weak front because the cold that comes in behind it is quite strong. But the front itself does not have a lot of moisture with it. So it will likely come through dry tomorrow, just kicking up a gusty wind and maybe a few passing flurries. Tonight's low is 33, which is once again above the average. We should be in the mid-20s. It's mainly clear. A few flurries possible over the Poconos. For tomorrow, a seasonably mild day. Temps about four or five degrees above average. 44 will be the high tomorrow. Sun and clouds, passing flurries. We start the day with a southwest wind at five to ten. But by late afternoon, that wind is going to switch behind the cold front. Winds will start to gust pretty strong, over 20, 25 miles an hour out of the north and west as cold air spills in from eastern Canada. So we end the week tomorrow in the 40s. If you want to get outside and enjoy a relatively comfortable January day, I would recommend getting out in the morning. If you want to go for a run, go for a walk, do it early because it's going to feel a whole lot colder by afternoon. And over the weekend, bitterly cold highs in the 30s, wind chills in the teens for much of the weekend. So tomorrow we start the day feeling pretty comfy. It feels like 33 in Philadelphia, but then by about 6 or 7 o'clock tomorrow night, the cold air arrives. It feels like the 20s. We'll wake up to feels like temperatures in the teens Saturday morning. And even in the afternoon, not feeling much better than the teens. And many spots will have wind chills Sunday morning in the single digits. Let's talk about our model comparison. That just ran through without any pauses for me. But we do have more agreement on next week's system on our two main long range models, both now bringing in some snow Monday night. Now, the European model is a little further north, it's a little milder, brings in a mix of sleet and rain. The GFS model keeps the coldest air in place and does bring a better chance for snow mainly off to the south and west. It does look likely that at least some parts of our area, especially from the city on south and west, will have the best chance of seeing accumulating snow with this system Monday night into Tuesday morning. The cold air in place for it. 44 degrees for tomorrow then. Look at those 30s. Over the weekend, sunny, cold and dry. Rain snow chance Monday night. Lingering snow shower Tuesday, and another potential system to watch by the end of next week. Jessica, back over to you. All right, Kate, thank you.